the core of the back. All right, so feet hip distance apart, planted. In fact, drawing in for those abdominals. Take an inhale, breath and lift all the way up. Exhale, draw into those abs. Go forward, soften the knees, just stretch down towards the floor. On the exhale, breath, breath, pull in for those abdominals, stack that spine, one vertebra on top of the other. As you come all the way up and gently roll those shoulders all the way back, take a big arm circle up and open out, good, and again, lift. And open out the last time, big arm circle, open all the way out. Now we're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna shoot the one arm up and the opposite leg goes out. Think about the abs drawing in and we'll go down. We'll stay on the same side. I want to think about going straight up, try not to lean with it. It's about the balance connecting to the core to do so. Okay, press and down. Now pushing off that floor and then sending the leg out and the hand up to the ceiling. So reach and down. And again, reach and down. Good, you've got four and three. Good, two. All right, last one. Other side, here we go. Down and reach it up. So aim straight up, pulling in for those abdominals, stretching the arm, lifting the leg out to the side, press away. Good, you've got four and three. Good, two. All right, last one, place it down a little bit wide and hip distance apart. Now bring the arms in front and all you're gonna do now is just a slight movement into that waist, bring it into the abs. You can lift that heel up as well. Just a twist now. Really think about bringing that waist out because you go side to side. Good, twist it out. Nice mobility for that lower back as well. And keep drawing in for those out. Swing it round. And again, another four and three. Good, two. And last one, back to the center here. Hands to the hips, hinge it forward, get the stretch down the back of the legs, flatten out that back. Now pull into the abs, lift the torso, squeeze the bottom a little bit, not too much if you want to overthrow this hips forward. Hinge forward and then pull back up. Using those abdominals, lifting that chest back up. And again, hinge forward and lift up. Good, two more. Good, last one, hang forward. Hands on the thighs, bend the knees. Right, scoop into those abdominals, press away, so arch that back up, think of a cat stretch, and then stick the bottom out and lift the head. All right, so scoop it up, and then press away. Just nice mobility here to scoop it up. Press it straight right. Last time, scoop it up and stack the spine and rolling those shoulders all the way down. Right, kneeling down onto your mat. Knees underneath those hips. Those abs are drawing in here. Then you're going to extend that leg out and reach those arms. Good. So we're going to go over and then we're going to go all the way over and kind of balance lifting that leg. So reach away. And then lift the leg. Good, reach away and then lift the leg. So lifting up and out of that waist as you reach over to the side and back. Good, two more. All right, last one, we're gonna hold it over here. Bring the hand down to the hip, lift and lower that leg. Hand underneath the shoulder and in line with that knee here. Press it down, think about those inner thighs as you press that leg down. Lift and press it down. Another five and four. Good, three and two. Last one, right, bend the knee forward. Don't collapse the chest. Send it back though and watch you're not rocking forward, okay? So bring it forward and send it away. Keep lifting up and in with those abdominals. Good, bring it forward. Press it back behind you. In and press it back. And again, in. Press it back, good, you've got four. Okay, you start to wake up. <laughs> Go for two more. All right, last one, let's leave it behind you and send out the arms well, shoulder down. Little lifts up and down, keep reaching with the fingertips and the toe away, lift the low. Another five, Go four, three, two, and one. Lower the leg, place the hand down, slightly rotate that so the shoulders and hips are square to the floor, and then that leg will follow behind you. Lift the leg back up. Now you're going to draw yourself forward. So it's not a press up because we'd be right back here. 
I come back and get that helpful. All right, so we're going to draw forward and then push back. Abs are in. Draw forward and push back. Good. Draw forward and push back. Keep that leg lifted behind. Keep those abs in. Bend those elbows. Lean forward. Push back. So the shoulders go right past those hands. Bring it back. Last one. Bring it back. Rotate back open to the side. Lower in that leg. Take that other leg and tuck it behind, or just literally going to hold that side plank. If it's too much, knees are down here, okay? Or you can just have that one leg down. Right, got another five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee back underneath you and push yourself all the way up. Let's do that again on the other side. All right, so arms go out, extending the other leg. Good, so reach towards the leg. Press away and lift that leg. Good. Reach and stretch it over. And then reach and stretch over. Good. Reach. Nice. And bring it over. Right. Last one. Let's stay. Here we go. Hold it. Bring that hand to the hip. Stay here. Right. A little lift and lower of that leg. Lift and lower, keep that wrapping with that waist as well, keeping everything connected. Right, go for five and four. Good, three and two and one. Hold it, bring the knee forward, press it back away. Bring it forward, press away. Good, forward, press away. And then in and press. Try not contract into it, keeping that torso lovely and strong. Good for four and three. Good, two, right, last one, send it back behind you and reach the arm as well. Okay, we got it, little pulses up and down, keep reaching here, up and down. Another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate to the floor, shoulders square, hips square, hands pressing down. Right, so you're gonna draw yourself forward and back up. Good, draw yourself forward, and back up. So pull forward, press back. Keep drawing in for those abdominals. Keep that leg reaching behind you. And again, forward, press back up. Good. You've got four and three. Good. Two. Nice. Last one. And then bring it back onto the side. Turn around. All right, now that leg can stay here. You can bring that leg in or you can go straight out and hold the plank. Pull out of the armpit, pull out of the waist, hug everything to the midline, hold it here for another five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee down and bring yourself all the way back up. Turn yourself around, gently sit down onto your mat. Even up with the sit bones. Knees are up to the ceiling and fold yourself over your legs. Relaxing the shoulders down. Allow that back to stretch open here for a moment. Take a nice inhale breath in through the nose and then just exhale through first lips. Now on that next exhale breath, we're going to press away. So keep that scoop position. So if someone's crunching into that stomach, scoop away. Eye line comes up to look forward and then dive back over those legs. All right, exhale, pull away. Good, inhale, bring it back. Exhale, press into those abdominals to pull away, keeping that C curve the entire time. And again, pull away and bring it back. Now we're gonna add a little bit of leg as we go. So we're gonna pull away, lift one leg, press it down, pull in for those abdominals to draw the other leg up, press it down over the legs. And again, little lift. So we've got like this marching action going on with those legs, using those abdominals to pull that leg back with you. Good, and again, pull back and lift, and bring it back over the legs. Good, lift, and bring it back. Do two more, lift, and bring it back. Good, last time, and bring it back. Right, sit yourself upright, put your hand behind the head, or by the side of the head. Scoop down into the seat, go tilting the pelvis. You're going to twist towards the knee with the elbow working into the waist. So exhale, twist them down. Twist. 
And again, twist. Good, work it into that waist. Twist and rotate. Exhale as you rotate. Squeeze and hook for those waist. Twist and twist. Good, twist and twist. So we'll do one more each leg like this. Now come back to that first leg. We're gonna reach the arm and the leg in that diagonal. Bring it back up and square it off. So twist, lift the knee, stretch away. Bring it in, lower down. Twist, reach, bring it in, rotate. Go twist, reach, bring it in, twist back to the center. And lengthen, press it away. Bring it in and down. Lift and twist, press in and center. One more each side. Bring it in, center. Last time, press away. Bring it in and back to the center. Straighten those legs out. All right, arms out in front of you, shoulders down, look across the collarbone. All right, scoop away into the C curve, open the arms out behind you, get that C curve, and then just pull back upright. So just a scoop away, tilting that pelvis, and then bring it up. Good, and again, scoop away, and bring it up. Good, pull for those abdominals. And bring it up. Last time, scoop away, hold it. Go down to the one side with the hand, go down to the other side. So just go side to side, a little bit of a side bend, a little bit even of a rotation, but just working into the waist for four and three. Good, two. All right, last one. Hold the arms out to the side and come all the way back up, sit tall. We're going to rotate, we're going to twist a little bit further, a little bit further, come back to the center. Right, so twist in the waist, a little bit further, and draw back. So you go round and pulse, pulse, roll back to the center. Go round, twist, twist, center. Go twist, twist. And center. So you rotate and you've got two little pulses to get you further around. So twist a little bit further. Make sure those feet are staying level and you're not shifting with those hips to get you around. It's all in that waist. Right, this is the last one. Fantastic. Draw it back to the center. Now see if you can roll all the way down, scoop into those abdominals and lie down onto your mat. Bending those knees in, feet in line with the sit bones, neutral spine. Inhale, exhale, tilt the pelvis now, roll all the way up, squeezing the glutes, pull the knees down to the toes, wrapping into those abdominals, keeping everything connected to here. Exhale, soften that rib cage down, tilt that pelvis, open that lower back, and release out to neutral. Good, inhale, exhale, tilt the pelvis, using those abdominals, squeeze the bottom, lift up. And then exhale, one more spread of time, all the way down. And then we're going to stay up this time. Here we go, inhale, exhale, squeeze, bring it up, hold it. Lift that left leg to tabletop, place it down, right leg to tabletop. So we're going to keep this marching going, wrapping around with those abdominals, squeezing those glutes. Lift one leg, place it down, lift the other leg, place it down. Lift and lower, peeling that foot off the floor. Go lift and lower. And again, lift and lower. You've got four, three, good, two. All right, last one. Right, we're going to extend the leg, drop the bottom to neutral, bend the knee, squeeze the bottom, lift it back up to that shoulder bridge position. So press down, bring it in. Press down, pulling up with the quads as you send that foot to the ceiling. Hopefully the glutes and the hamstring on that side are starting to engage. All right, you've got four and three. Good, two. All right, last one. Place that leg down. Lift the other leg to tabletop. Ready, here we go. Send the bottom down, extend the leg. Pick it up, bring back to tabletop with the leg. Press and lift. Go press and lift. And again, press. And lift, push down and lift. Good, you've got four and three. Good, two. All right, last one. 
and place the foot down. Now, bring the bottom down, it's almost hovering off that floor. So it's like your fingertips are just underneath the bottom. Neutral spine pulling in for those abdominals. Hands behind the head, support the head. Slide the ribs down, flex up, look to the knees, but don't drop that bottom. Keep it hovering. Use those lower abs to keep that bottom hovering. Use that exhale breath as you flex forward. Good, keep those elbows wide. And back down. And again, exhale, lift and bring it back down. Good, you've got four and three. Good, two. Right, last one, place that bottom down. All right, so we're going to lengthen into the in front. Stay flexed up if you can, so really support the head. Get the flexion from the abdominals, not the neck. We're going to lift one leg, lift two legs, both legs go down. So we're going to lift. Lift and push them both down, use those up. So lift, lift. Now press the legs away. Go lift, lift. Press the legs away. Go lift, lift. Push down. Go lift. Try not arch the back. You want to keep that lower back lengthening down towards the mat. Go lift, lift. Press away. Go lift, lift. Press away. Go lift, lift. Press away. And again, go lift. And press away, last time, and hold the legs up. Lower the head and neck down, send the arms out wide, send the legs up to the ceiling, toes up to the ceiling. Imprint that spine as it is. All right, we're gonna send the legs over to the one side. If it's too much, bend the knees, bring the legs back to the center. Over to the other side. Now pull with the waist, bring it back. Good, over to the side, and bring it back. Good, over to the other side, and bring it back. So working into that waist. Good, have control, we'll stop for that split second in the middle, so you just make sure you are center and you're just not swinging them side to side without control. So you want to make sure that bottom part's to the center, and then we'll go over to the other side, exhale, bring it in. Good, over we go, and bring it in, and again. Good, last time, and all the way back to the center. Now, we're gonna do circles, we're gonna send the legs out, sweep it and bring it up to one side, and then we're gonna go down, sweep it over to the other side. Push down for those abdominals, exhale, and bring it up to the other side. So push down, and bring it up. All right, exhale, press down, sweep the legs over to the other side. Good, press away, sweep the legs over to the other side. Right, last time, take it all the way back to that side, into the center, hug the knees down in towards the chest here. All right, hands go back behind the head. Exhale, we're gonna flex up, extend one leg out, bring it back in, extend the other leg out. So the spine is imprinted, drawing down to the mat. Flexing up using those abdominals and alternate the single leg stretches as we flex up. So press away, bring it in. Press away, bring it in. Exhale, lengthen that leg, bring it in. Watch the knees aren't coming too close towards the chest. Go press and bring it in. Just coming back into that tabletop position. Go press. All right, let's go through one more each leg and we're going for double legs. You ready? All right, exhale, press and lengthen. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, press and lengthen. If it's too much, go to single legs. Or send both legs to the ceiling. It should have folded up back. When you go as low as you can, maintain that imprinted spine. And bring it in. Good, exhale, lengthen. Nice, bring it in. Good, for four. And three. Good, two. Last one and bring it all the way in. Rock that back for a moment, and you set the head side to side as well to take the tension out of the neck. Legs coming back up to the tabletop position, arms long by the side. Let's scoop using those lower abdominals, tilt the pelvis, draw the knees towards the shoulders, and down. Exhale, lift, and down. Scoop, try not making a swing, just tilt the pelvis, not gonna be a big movement, just needs to come off slightly. Exhale, inhale down. And again, exhale, inhale down. Good, exhale, lift and low. Good, you've got five 
and four. Good, three. Nice, two. Good to go for your last one. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Bring those legs back to the tabletop position, arms along by the side. Exhale, slide the ribs down and flex up. So draw the shoulders down and reach the fingertips to the end of your mat. And then we're going to reach around the side as if we're trying to reach a little bit further, reach down the side. So alternate sides as we reach round, then reach it round. Good. Reach round the side. Go on, try and get down to the end of the mat. With those fingertips, reach it more. And you've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab the legs yourself all the way up. We're coming back to side on, so draw yourself round, pop your arm down, elbow underneath the shoulder, lifting out of the armpit. All right, let's see if we can do straight legs. If not, knees are bent. Okay, so we're coming back up into a plank. This time the forearm is down and those abs are drawing in. You can either have your foot forward because it's going to lift in a moment or you can just stack it for a moment. See how you go. If you need to, that leg can come back down here. All right, whichever you can do. Now, top leg is going forward and back. So just forward and back. So if you need to put the bottom leg down onto the mat, please do so. Up and down, working those abs big time. And that leg, foot four, and three, good, two, and one. Back to the center, hold it. Watch those hips aren't dipping for four, three, two, one. Carefully lower yourself down and we'll come over to the other side. All right, so as I say, the knees can be bent if you wish. Lifting out of the armpit, lift it out to the side. And you've got to hold that plank here for a moment. You're all set up. Abs are in, top left, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Forward and back. You've got four, three, go two, and one. Back to the center. Lift those hips a wee bit more. Hold it. Number five, four, three, two, one. And carefully lower down. Rotate onto your tummy. All right, so they're out to draw in and away from the mat. Hands are by the shoulders, shoulders drawing down the back. Legs are long. Separated, they can be parallel or turned down, whichever you prefer. All right, so we're going to reach the arms forward, inhale, exhale, pull the elbows back to the waist, lifting the chest. Eye line just goes diagonally in front so you don't look to the wall, okay? So reach forward, so dive forward, exhale, pull those elbows back down, really try to the elbows right to the side, and then you can work down the back of those arms and underneath those arms. Good, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull those elbows down. Good, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, lift that chest, work in the middle of the back. Good, inhale, exhale, pull. And again, inhale, exhale, pull. Good, inhale, dive forward, exhale, pull. Two more, inhale, exhale, pull. Good, last time, exhale, pull, hold it. All right, open the arms back towards the hips. Bend back at the elbows. Here we go, straighten and bend, extend and bend, extend and bend for four and three. Good, two. Last one, hold it, pulse those arms for five, four, three, two, one, and draw down. Fold the arms in front of you and rest your head onto your hands. All right, shoulders drawing down the back. Bring those legs a little closer in line with those hips now and those abs pulling away and the legs are long and parallel. All right, right leg lift and then lower down, left leg lift. So what you've got to watch, you're not rocking into your hips to lift the leg or as you go and you lift, you kind of bend the knee. You've got to keep the legs beautifully long and straight. So find reaching as opposed to the height, okay? Exhale, lift. And lower, lift and lower. And you've got to think about those hips being level on the mat. So you are twisting it all. Abs still pulling in and away from the mat, and the shoulders drawing down and away from those ears. Okay. Exhale, lift and lower. 
Let's do both legs here we go. Lift both legs, lower down. Exhale, lift and lower down. Then again, exhale, lift and lower down. Try not rock into that lower back though. You've got four and three. The two. Okay, last one, hold it. Squeeze those legs together here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the legs, hand to the shoulders, pull yourself up and sit yourself all the way back to those heels, stretching those fingertips forward. Fabulous. Come into a quadruped position, hands underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Take a quick cat stretch. Inhale, exhale, scoop in with those abdominals, arch the back up, fold it here, and they can all the way out. Right, come into a neutral spine, tucking those tails, abs are drawing in. Let's take those knees up for a hover. Good, and bring it back down. So watch as you go, you're not coming forward or going back. You need to stay straight in that position. You literally pull up with those abs. Imagine that belly button falling, those abdominals up and away. Right, exhale, lift, inhale, back down. Good, exhale, pull the knees off and back down. And again, up and back down. Right, let's go up and hold this one. We're going to twist, all right? So rotate to drop the bottom to one side, back to the center, drop the bottom the other side, and back to the center. So just going to swing the hips around. Go twist and twist. Good, twist and twist. Good, so you're just going side to side. Twist and twist. Good, twist. Drop that bottom side and center. And again, side, center. Last time, hold back to the center here. Hold it. Good, keep pulling in. Send the legs now back. Hold the plank. Got straight legs, abs are drawing in, hold it here, hold for the five, four, three, two, one. Knees go down, draw back, take the pressure off your wrists. Bring yourselves around. Oh. Sitting up the knees bent, up onto those sit bones, hands draw up to the forehead here, elbows out to the side and the shoulders are down. All right, let's just have a lovely straight back. We're going to hinge it back, so hinge back. If you can tuck your toes underneath the couch, that'd be great. It's like we're on the reform of the bar, isn't it? Right, go back and bring it up. Hinge away, exhale, lovely straight back. In all that beautiful connection down from the ribs through the hips, those abdominals. Exhale, lean back and inhale, bring it forward. Two more. Exhale, lean back. And bring it forward. Good. Last time, exhale, lean back and bring it forward. All right, let's gently roll all the way back down onto your back. So scoot away. Da -da -da. Fabulous. All right, lengthen into your imprint. Legs come back up to that tabletop position. Press it down and in for those abs. Inhale, exhale, reach up. All right, so reaching past those bottoms. Legs to take the top, we're going straight into our hunches here. Nice strong arms as we pulse them down by the side. Anytime you can put a hand behind the head or the head neck can go down. So inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale. If you want to challenge a bit more on the exhale breath, you can straighten those legs. And inhale two, three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale two, three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale two. Three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale two, three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale two, three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale. Good. Exhale two, three, four, five. And inhale. Last set. Go. Exhale two, three, four, five. Hold it. And bring it all the way in. Let that neck go. Let that head go side to side to release that neck. Hands by the knees. Inhale, exhale, flex back up, scoop into it. Both legs and arms reach away. Arms circle as the knees come back to the chest. Exhale, press. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, press. Inhale, bring it in. And again, exhale, press. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, press. 
Inhale, bring it in. And then exhale, press. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, press. Inhale, bring it in. Go on your boat. Three. Put your down. And two. Right, less fun. And bring it all the way in. Head and neck goes down. Legs back to the tabletop position. Arms along by the side. Find the L shape. One leg goes up, other leg goes up. Bring it back to the tabletop. Exhale, press. And pull back in. Lengthen the legs away. Bring it back to tabletop. Good. Stretch. Pushing down and in for those abdominals. Stretch. And bring it in. And again, reach. And bring it into tabletop. Lengthen. Bring it in. And again, reach. And bring it in. Good. Reach. Right. Let's hold this one. I'm going to flex back up. Reach for your legs. Your knees can be bent. It's fine. We're into scissors. Stretch it out. Reaching those legs long. Staying in that flex up position. Pushing down and in for those abdominals. Press and press. Good. Reach and reach. We need to bend those knees. We'll put the head and neck down. Or the hands go behind the head. Pull back and go for four. And three, good, two, and last one. And bring it all the way back into the chest. All right. Extending the left leg down along the floor, right leg comes up to the tabletop position, squaring those hips off. Neutral spine, arms along by the side. All right, so we're going to inhale, take the leg away, exhale, circle, bring it back and around. So open from the hip and bring it back and around. So circle the leg. Now you are working rib to hip connection here to keep this waist still, or that tall, entire torso still. So you shouldn't find any other part of the body is moving, just circling in that socket. Let's reverse the direction. So we go down, sweep it up and around. Go down, sweep it up and around. And again, down, sweep it up. Try not let that other hip lift. Two more. And last one, stretch that leg out, let's go lift the other leg. Here we go, out and sweep it around. Good, open, sweep it around, keeping those hips level. Good, and again, open, pull that leg round, two more. All right, last one, let's reverse that direction, bring it back the other way. And again, round and bring it up. Good, use those abdominals to pull, help you pull that leg up along with those inner thighs. Two more. There we go, last one. And stretch the legs long, reach those arms behind you, okay? You're in your neutral spine, get that rib cage back down. All right, exhale, flex up and reach the leg up for that hover. So it's not coming up very high, it's not right up to the ceiling, keeping those abdominals flat. And lengthen back as you stay in that neutral spine. Exhale, draw, reach for the toes and bring it back. Alternating the legs as you lift, pressing with those arms nice and strong. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, press. So imagine you're trying to get those fingertips to reach down towards the toes so we engage those abs a lot more as we get up into that flexion. Don't tilt the pelvis. Must stay neutral here. And back. Good. And again, reach. And back. Good. Reach. Right, we're going to hold this next one and hold it here. Hold it. Right, leg goes out. Squeeze it in. Try and keep this hips level. Try not rock at all here. Squeeze it for four, three, two, one. Leg them back. Lower the leg. Exhale. Lift the other leg. Get that flexion. Here we go. Open and close it for five. Four, three, two, one. Lengthen all the way back. Let the head and neck go. Take the tension out of it. Keep the reach here. And let's roll all the way up. So inhale, exhale. Use those arms. Tilt the pelvis on the exhale breath. And just stretch forward. And then sit up tall. Bending those knees, putting those feet together. Hands back to the side of the head. You're going to bring the elbow down towards the knee and bring it back up. So you're just going to flex to the side and sit up. So pull. All right, so as you pull, you're working on the waist here. Okay? 
So you don't just drop the head, you've got to keep that head on top of the neck, so you've got to work the waist to bring the elbow down to the knee. Exhale, down, inhale up. And again, down and bring it up. Good, down and bring it up. Good, down and bring it up. Good, you've got four and three. Good, two. Okay, last one, back to the center and fold those arms in front of your shoulders down. All right, bow and arrow, pull that arm back, press back, and then reach forward. So pull back and reach. You've got the rotation happening in with that waist, and then pulling the elbow back, working those muscles around the shoulder blades. Good, go pull and reach, pull and reach, and again, pull and reach, pull and reach. Good, pull back in that twist in action to get those obliques working and bringing that waist down for four, three, go two, right, last one and extend the arm. Dip it back and bring it back up, okay? So you're gonna dip back as you're reaching for that back corner of your mat, lean back and bring it up. And again, lean back, should we get into those obliques here? One, lean back. Thank you. Weight pressing down on that bottom into the mat. Last time. Bring it forward. Pull back to the row on the other side. Extend the arm. You can go reach and upright. Go reach. And again, reach. Flexing back here for four. And three. Good. Two. And last one, bring it all the way back to the center. All right, soften those shoulders, soften those arms a little bit. Exhale, breath, pull the hands towards you, scoop into the C curve, come back up, sit tall. Scoop away, pull through. Remember, you're tilting that pelvis and then bring it up. And again, scoop through, pull the arms with you, get some work out of those arms. Go pull and up, two more. Exhale, pull. And up, good. Last time, exhale, pull and hold it. All right, you're gonna alternate the march of the legs here in that external rotation. So pull one knee up, scooping in with those abdominals. Good, lift and lift. Go lift and lift. Pull for those abs, lift and lift. You've got another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring the legs back together, bring yourself back over those legs, let the shoulders relax then. And then sit tall, press that chest up to the ceiling, have a really good stretch. Ah, and put the hands behind you, fingers pointing towards the bottom, straighten out those legs. Right, you've got the width to the collarbone. All right, so we're going to tilt the pelvis and come up and hold the long line here. All right. And then exhale, pull in for those abdominals to get you back down. Watch you don't roll in. All right, exhale, tilt the pelvis. Use those abdominals to reverse and um, bridge here. And then pull in for those abs to bring you back down. And again, tilt the pelvis, let roll up. Hold it. And bring it all the way back down. We're going to hold this last one. Tilt the pelvis, roll up and hold it. Right, can you lift one leg off without right, dropping those hips? Can you lift the other leg off? Lower that leg down, lift the hips a little bit high. You should be getting those arms working. And come all the way back down and draw those wrists over the other side. Fold yourself forward. Good. And then sit up tall. Separate your legs, the width of the mat, even with the sit bones, hands back to the forehead. We're going to rotate to the one leg and we're going to fold for it. So you're not about getting down onto your um, thigh. It's almost like you're trying to reach past it and come back up and square it off. So you've got to twist, let out that back. Think about what we did in the warm up at the start when we were literally folding forward. All right, so twist, exhale, flatten out. It's a lovely stretch, you'll feel like being pressed behind you. Get those back muscles working. You probably get a nice stretch down the back of those legs as well. And bring it up, square it off. And again, twist, exhale, hinge. Inhale, bring it back up. And again, last one, and hinge. Good, lift, and bring it back up. All right, center, 
Over to hinge forward, and then you're going to pull in for those abs to bring you all the way back up for a seat curve, okay? So it's a straight back going forward, and then you're going to scoop in to bring it up right, okay? So exhale, hinge, get that lovely stretch out of the back, lift the chest a bit more, you probably, it's pulling too much here, obviously you can soften those knees, that's absolutely fine. And then pull in for those abs. So it's almost like you've got to lift that bend button up and underneath that rib cage to bring it back up, all right? Exhale, hinge. Now pull to bring you back up. Good, and again, hinge it forward. Now contract with the abs and step the spine. Last one, hinge forward. And then pull for the abs to bring it all the way back up. Oh, nice stretch for those, nice work for those back muscles. So let's come back over onto your front here. You've got some lovely press-ups to do, man. Good job, I can't hear that word. <laughs> right, hands underneath the shoulders, drawing the hips forward, pulling in for those abdominals. I've got my feet crossed because that's my preference, but it's up to you. If you want to do full plank and do your press-ups here, you can make yourself up. Right, here we go, bend and stretch here. So down, press away. All right, bend and stretch. Good, then pull in for those abdominals. That bottom's gonna come down from easy. Don't leave it up behind you. You've got five more. Good, and four. And three. Good, two. Last one. Fantastic, push back for a moment. Take that stretch here. Yes, take a really nice stretch. All right, come back forward, find the plank. So reaching those legs long, pressing those heels to the wall behind you so you get a lovely stretch out of the calves as well. So you drop those heels back. Keep pulling in for those abdominals. Wrap into those abs so you know they're going to stay connected for the rest of the day. All right, lifting those hips. Walk the feet in a smidgen. And you feel those hip bones pulling up to the ceiling. Go down with dog, so to press in between those shoulder blades. Just walk those heels through, get the stretch down the back of the leg and in line with those um, biceps. All right, hold one heel down, stretch the back of the leg. Hold the other heel down, stretch the back of that leg. And if you can, get them both down. Just try. Get those hips drawn up to the ceiling, get the stretch here, pushing between those shoulder blades. And then carefully walk your feet to your hands. Oh, and hold here, hug down to those thighs for a moment. All right, let's stack the spine. So pulling for those abdominals, start to straighten the legs as you come all the way back up to that standing position. Take your time. Da -da -da. And draw it down. So come up onto the balls of your feet. Make sure the toes are spread. And then lower the heels, pressing you down onto the ground, keeping the arches feet lifted, pulling in for those abdominals, wrapping that waist around. Take the one arm, stretch it over to the side, lengthen out for that waist, shoulder stays down. And then bring it back down, and we'll go over to the other side, let that side reach it out. Bring those hands in front of you, interlace the fingers, pushing that back out, give it a good old stretch here. Turn the palms, Lengthen, lift the hands to the ceiling, lift the chest a little bit as well. Open the arms out, take those hands behind you, interlace the fingers, pull down, whip across the collarbone, and then just let those arms gently hang by your side. All righty, so just think about your height, crown of the head reaching, let's stay here, take a nice inhale, breath in here, breath goes out to the back and the sides, the abs still connected. And then exhale to release. And then take a nice inhale, breath in, keep the shoulders down, hold the breath. And now exhale. And there we go, you are all done. Ta -ta -da. Go and eat your Easter eggs now. 